about the same distance. Yeah, and a beautiful day here down the harbour. Good day for a fish burger. Three there. Look at that. It doesn't get any better than that. Mmm. We've got some mussels here, I've got an octopus here. We're going to get some other baits, some pilchards. And the fish fingers are down the bottom there, you see. Alright, so welcome back everybody, welcome back to another video. Have a guess where we are today. You'll never guess. But if you check those trees out behind me here, do they look a little bit like Puhutakawa trees? Do I look like I'm actually in my favourite spot for fishing and cooking up a delicious feast? If that is a yes from you guys, well, you would be right. Because I am in our favourite spot here down the harbour. I'm here with the cousin Adrian. I'm going to be baking for you guys today. You wouldn't guess it. Fish fingers. But I'm going to do fish fingers another way. This is going to be really pimping up the fish fingers big time. You guys got to try this recipe out. I'm going to be doing a fish finger, a filet or fish finger burger. Filet or fish fingers. So we're going to be doing a filet of fish finger. But Jango styles, you know what I mean by Jango styles? You got like three fish fingers there, and I put three that way, and then three that way. Fill your fish finger, it doesn't get any better than that. And for that, also, you're gonna be using some secret, secret mayonnaise for it pickle mayonnaise that really makes this taste like a fill your fish burger. Yep, that's the intro for this video. We hit the harbor, incoming tide, my first fish in ages, uh, probably since about April. So for those guys that like uh, fishing videos, well hopefully we'll catch some fish here this afternoon. Three rods, two reels, I'm going to put one bait out. So stick around, I've got to cook up the old fish finger, filet of fish finger over here in the corner because of the wind. But we are back in our favourite place here, yes indeed, down the harbour. So I haven't had a fish here for about, probably since last year actually. Fish here at the old harbour. Last time we were here we cooked up some delicious uh, mussel and Kumoda fritters and they were very tasty and we're going to do a few trips here before summer comes here and before the tourists turn up and then they just really spoil my serenity here down the harbour all those tourists are serenity spoilers I call them so I've got some octopus here and uh, there's some octopus, you guys see that? I'm going to use these, AliExpress. Looks already set up from my last fishing trip. AliExpress uh, ledger rigs, see? AliExpress ones. And I'll just change the sinker to a five ounce or even a four ounce at the moment. We'll try the four ounce out. Oh, look. Just broke that thing because it's that old. Just broke it. So, my knife's still got blood on it from last year. Oh. Now, have I got any more of those things there? Right. Oh. So we don't need this, we don't need the spinner on here. We could do. If this kahawai there will use the old, see, it's a good yeah, one. It's a heavy duty one, eh? Yeah. There's a stick first, so we'll throw a stick in for her, and we'll go over there, throw her a stick. Hey, rubber. So, the trouble is the sticks are all stuck to the tree. <laughs> hey, rubber. Adrian's line's nice and taut there. There you go. Right, so here we are, a bit windy here today, I'm going to have my first cast out soon, take three. I've been here for an hour. Been here for an hour, yes. I've been talking for an hour with this one rod on my hand as well. But anyway, it's the nature of the game when you're recording 
stuff he didn't look in the lens what's going on so we've got here a big five ounce sinker and i've got a, so got a six ounce sinker here which we might use depending on how, how bad the current is there so i found these sinkers here on the beach people who cast and using thin line cast a heavy sinker and the line snaps and then the lose your sinker this they're not cheap these buying these either they're about like five bucks each or something five bucks for a bow sinker are they <sighs> see ah uh, the old treasure hunting look two sinkers in here found one there a bit of bling on it and next door we found another sinker look with some old bling on it both together and a quad bike went past about five times with his treasure on the back some timber so let's get these out we've got that one there I think it's about a four ounce and this one here another four ounce so we're going to take all this back is that a four ounce that's a five ounce that one five ounce and a I'll say it might be a I can't see four ounce or something we had two sinkers we found together happy days happy days and look 20 meters past our these two here I've come across some bling and hooks and stuff so I'll take those hooks off and we'll carry those home in that line but we have no sinker on there so but looking very promising we'll take that and we'll dispose of that line we'll put our treasure up here and we'll come back because I think this is going to look pretty awesome look at this piles of wood down there looks happy days rubber come across some more line there and we have here a another sinker it is a two ounce two ounce ball sinker yeah oh look a little bait fish there Nice. So it's three sinkers we've got so far. Size 12 boots, eight. Perfect. Now, this is how the master cast. The master caster. Perfect. How's that? Is that alright? Like a bomb. Ah, ah, like a big bomb. Hey. It's a five ounce sinker and that's what you need in here to hold it for that current. Hey, welcome back everybody to this cooking part of the show. This is the cooking sequence. We're going to be cooking up for you a delicious meal today. We're cooking up some delicious filet or fish fingers. Yep, fish finger burger. First time on this channel, first time for everything, and a fish burger. So, it's going to make you guys pretty hungry, I'm sure of it. So, we'll turn our gas on. There we go. Just going to add a bit of oil to our pan. Right, so we got some lovely rice bran oil here, which we're going to put into our frying pan, heat it up, nice and healthy for you, rice bran oil, a two litre bottle. So we'll heat up our frying pan, and while we're here, we'll just make it a bit straight. So we've got here some delicious, oh, upside down, fish fingers, bird's eye fish fingers. We've got 15 in there, so we're going to try and fit as many as we can into here. Hopefully we can fit a few in here. And um, we've got a bit of lettuce. 
And we've got some our secret ingredient. I won't show you what it is. You gotta close your eyes. Don't look at that. Don't look at the secret ingredient for our fish burger, for your fish finger burger. Don't look at that. I'll give you four more seconds. Don't look at that. Right, you got it. Now don't tell anybody else. It's a secret. Secret ingredient for your filet or fish finger burger, okay? Last time, okay. There's our hot oil there heating up. The rubber's buying us there, look. He's got a little friend. A little friend indeed. It looks like old Brucey. Right, fish finger's going to go in. Hot enough. The old cast iron pan. Oh yeah, it's hot enough. Check that out. So we're going to put a few in. Three. As you can smell it, look. Four. He's going to want one of these. For his son-in-law, Henare Ruru. I hear you like eating fish fingers and eggs. We're going to like this one here. A cast iron pan from Kmart. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Cup of ten and three, six, nine, three, six, nine, ten. Might be a tenner. That might be alright. Go ahead, Adrian. The agent's going, look at that. Again, wow, you're amazing. You can tell you're a Dutchman. Dutchman wouldn't even think of that fish. Well, I've done it. I've done it before, and I don't need. I don't need bread normally. Okay, I don't need bread. But for you guys, I'm gonna do this bread burger for you. We can have a breadless filial fish finger burger, but we'll do a bread one for you. Three tasty hamburger buns from the old Pack and Spend, your favourite shop. So isn't this nice? See, we're down here by the harbour. Rubber's behind me. She wants a fish burger, but she ain't getting one. And a bit of lettuce. And the fish burgers you buy from McDonald's have cheese in it. Now I never had a putting cheese with a fish burger. It's just crazy stuff. Yeah, and a beautiful day here down the harbour. Good day for a fish burger. And they look ready. Gonna turn the gas off. Right, we're going to plate up our delicious uh, fish finger burger. Right, guys, check this out. We won't even fit that many on. They're going to fit two on each side, Django style. Actually, before I do that, we shall add sprinkle a bit of this stuff on first. Here's the old secret ingredient, some pickle mayonnaise, put some of that on, the other side as well. Now we'll just add it, oh no, I've got sand in it. Yeah. 
and look at that. It's the habit. Check that out. Just going to put a bit of lettuce on there. Oh yeah. So you do it. Some yummy lettuce. And there it is. Finally, finished our burger. And, and time for a taste test. Time for our taste test, finally. Got the camera set up for it. And I've got mayonnaise on my lens. Right. Hello. Mmm. Now that is delicious. Way better than buying a McDonald's burger. Look at that. It doesn't get any better than that. Mmm. Wow. You guys got to try that out. It's so nice. There we go. Fish finger burger down the harbour. First time I've done this under these trees. Another recipe to knock off the old list of food I've cooked down the harbour. Filet or fish fingers. Mmm. Give that a go. <clears throat> you guys got to try that out. Fish finger burger. Right. I'm going to finish this off. Clean my camera down. It's full of sand. Back to you guys soon. Hope you enjoyed this little recipe. Give it a go. The next best thing. Probably needs a bit of beetroot in there. Be real kiwi on there. Mmm. Wow. Whoa. Oh, oh. Something knocks it off, yeah. Yeah. Same distance. Same place. Same place. <laughs> High arm, all right. High around something. <laughs> got some of the weeds further in. Aim up there. No bites yet, so I'm going to have a coffee, uh, and we're going to hang around till we change the light. And maybe a bit after, see what's going to go on. The tide's got the same high tides at eight o'clock. Yeah, that's very right. Yeah. So it'll be 
will coincide with some fishing action. Tide, the, the tide, the change of light. We have a coffee. and brought some milk powder with me mm -hmm. to make it like I'm at home. The APG gas stove. I brought you a coffee sachet, Adrian. Did you? Yeah. Oh, no. Sugar? No. There's enough sugar in those things. You have two of them. So yeah, cheers everybody, cheers. Get ready before, calm before the storm. Some fishing action going on soon. Or Eagle Ray. Eagle Ray action. Mm. Hopefully I don't get it on my line. No. There were two rods out there. But there's some big Eagle Rays here. It's also there's a real big Stingray I've seen here a few times. Just floats right by the shoreline there. I missed filming that last time I was here fishing at night. It must have been about women, I don't know, six foot wide. The cheers. Lovely afternoon right here. If we go back over here where my gear is, where the car's parked, there's a lot of wind. But right here we're out of the wind. Mm. Cheers. Hey, right there. Are you getting bites? No, I thought I... thought you getting bites. He's not getting bites, Robert. Shouldn't be too far off. Ah. 